And he, he could just keep going for another year. Who wants to travel with me on my next trip? Morning. Last night we ended up spending about an hour. <laughs> we were trying to decide if we we're gonna stay in Santiago uh, for a couple more days or if we wanted to go someplace else. Um, I would love to stay in this Airbnb a couple more nights, but unfortunately it's booked so we can't. So then we looked at a couple other options. Nothing was really looking that great. So then we decided, all right, where do we go to next? Um, Peter had uh, Valparaiso as an area to, to go to. It's this coastal region with like really beautiful buildings. So we looked at that and then um, right next to Valparaiso in the same area is Vina del Mar, which is um, a nice like beach town. So we decided let's go there. Um, we decided to stay in Vina del Mar because it looked a little bit safer than Valparaiso. So we're taking a two hour bus trip to Vina del Mar and checking into another Airbnb that has really good Wi-Fi. So we're definitely staying there for three days. Um, and then we are just booked our flight this morning from Santiago to Lima. Um, we did look at a bus, but it was 50 hours to take a bus. And it was just as expensive as flying. So we're taking a flight. Um, so it was $220 to book a, a flight on Sky Airlines for both of us. And I just realized that that is actually probably the last flight we are going to be taking until we fly home. And that was a crazy thought to have because I think then for um, Peru to Ecuador, it was too expensive to fly, so we're doing bus for that. And then we're gonna do a bus um, through Ecuador. So yeah, guys, our, we just booked our like second to last flight before our last flight, and then the next flight is home. It's just crazy. <laughs> And last night, I was just like, Peter, it took us an hour, an hour and a half just to find her place to stay. Like, I, it's getting a little bit and old. And I'm like, you're welcome. I helped you. I shortened that time. <laughs> and that's all you have to do. Like, you're welcome. All you had to do was work one hour today. You didn't have to work <laughs> eight hours like most people. I know. I know. But it's just... It's hard not knowing for me, like, where we're going to be. And then when you finally find it, then, like, you have to spend the next time, like, looking at where you're going to be next. All that to say. It's so fun and exciting. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's a privilege. We're so thankful for this opportunity. This is yes. a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that most, a lot of people don't have. Yes. And I am very thankful. Just last night, I was excited that I had to find a place to stay again. And he, he could just keep going for another year. Who wants to travel with me on my next trip? I'm taking applications. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know I was being a bum. But today... Positive attitude is a must requirement. You're negative. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> but here's the thing. Like, as soon as I just realized that this is our second to last flight before then heading home, and then it, I have these moments where, like, it hits me. And, like, I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, make sure to enjoy the moment. I know you should always be like that, but... For me, it takes something, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, i got to really enjoy where I'm at. Um, anyways, so going to enjoy today, excited for today, excited for a new place, excited to get out of the city. Um, this will be a quieter city and just to experience more of Chile. So come join us. Sometimes you get something good and you don't know why. We have it going in five minutes. Sometimes we can get on it. Woohoo! <laughs> That's great. And we have a front row seat. How cool is this? We are in the front row, full view. This is great. This is so crazy. A feeling like this never gets old.
just takes a minute to change your life. Look how cute our Airbnb is. I love this. Sergio, I believe. We went to our Airbnb, separate space from the house. Um, and the guy is so awesome. So it's his daughter that runs the Airbnb. She's away right now. Um, so the father is stepping in and running it. Um, you got a bed here and then table, um, kind of everything you need, a little kitchen here. And then look at the shower, it's so cute. I was like, okay, wait, wait, how is this like above here? Like, what is this? And it's like, here's this little, little tiny tub. All right, and yeah, we got this place for $35 a night, which is really good. Um, it had just been lowered by $19. So normally this place is booked and they just happen to have three days of this whole month and next month where it wasn't booked. And that's what we needed. And so what I'm finding on Airbnb is the places that are normally booked, the reason they're always booked is because, you know, they have, they have a price set at a fair price, but then if it's not booked, they'll lower it. So you definitely save a lot. Today is officially the first day of winter, but oh my goodness, it feels so good. Uh, it's like 60 degrees, I think. It's awesome. And yeah, I'm wearing this coat because I still like 80 degree weather. <laughs> This is such a cute little town. I love it. So we're currently on our way to go get some groceries at the store Leader, which is actually like the Walmart of um, Chile. So Walmart actually bought Leader. So it is, it's essentially under Walmart Corporation. So it should be a huge supermarket. I'm excited to check out another supermarket. First, we're stopping here. Look at this mall area. They even have a Chuck E. Cheese. What is this place? Live music? What is this? This is awesome. Let's go to Walmart, baby. Chili style. Chili style, exactly. What are you saying about the... Uh, Low prices. Yeah, you got TVs, guys. Oh yeah, you got TVs over there. You got clothes over here. It's definitely like a Walmart. Wow. All right, so we went a little crazy in Walmart. We're walking home with five bags worth of stuff and uh, spent $42 on three days of stuff. So not amazing. We got some more fish because I have an oven. We can make fish, so that's great. Um, and then we got some snacks and things like that some cheeses some wine so yeah 40 42 dollars i tested it from the middle it cooked so fast it cooked in like six minutes <laughs> good thing we didn't let it go the full 25. it's a gas oven with no temperature marks so we don't know what we're doing here yeah it like light it with um a match down there so yeah that's oven and this is the the burners. Earlier today we were thinking about getting um, a donut each at Dunkin Donuts. So, but first we decided to go into Leader and then we saw that this brownie mix was like a dollar and then needed some oil which was like another like dollar fifty. So for the price of like two donuts we got a whole pan of brownies. <laughs> oh goodness. Not that, we don't need a, not that we need a whole pan of brownies but the next three days we'll probably consume it. Look at us now. Deciding if we're gonna stay in San Diego, San Diego, not San Diego. Where are we? Not Santorini. Why can't I think? Santiago. Santiago. Oh goodness. Peter's going to the bathroom. Hang on. I know I'm taking too long. I told you I was gonna film. Oh well, stop it. Just let me stop peeing. I'm making a video. I got pee, guys. Every time she turns on the camera, I got pee. <laughs> 